two, ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So question, who was Gentiles in time past that were carried away unto dumb idols? In time past, ye were. Who is it talking about? Who, who in Corinth was it talking to? We're going to deal with Gentile scriptures in the New Testament. Who's it talking about? I don't see the correlation. Because we're talking about Paul. You say you spoke of Paul, right? Correct. Paul went to specific people, the Ephesians I and Ephesus. The question is, do you have now, an issue with what he did? No, I agree with it. Okay. He's talking to those of Gentiles. I understand okay. that. Okay. What Gentiles is he talking about? We're going to find that out. Watch this. I guess whoever, whoever, was, in his, to whoever was in his hearing. Watch Whoever? Whoever was in the middle oh, of the hearing. Oh, I like the way you said that. I like the way you said that. We're going to read the book of Acts. The, the book Why of do you Acts. I like the way I said that. Oh, because it's in the Bible. Watch this. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12 and verse 2. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. Go to 1 Corinthians, chapter 10. And then give me Acts 2 and 21. You hold what you got. Watch this. So he said in the Corinthians, y'all were y'all were carried away into dumb idols in the past. Watch who he's talking to. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 1. Moreover, brethren. Brethren, brethren, what tribe was Paul from? Well, he was uh, originally from uh, the No, no, not originally, but his nationality was of what? Not his citizenship, but his, his nationality. He was a Jew from the tribe of what? Let's prove. We're going to go various places to prove. We ain't going to say nothing of our own. Go to Romans 11 1 to prove what tribe that uh, 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 Paul came from. I know, I know. We just, I'm just going gonna to go out of everything out of the Bible so we can get on the same page there. Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. I say that. Have God cast away his people? God forbid. God has not cast away his people and from the Old Testament. He's still keeping his same people from the Old Testament. Go ahead. For I also am an Israelite. So what is his people? The Israelites, come on. Of the seed of Abraham. If he would have cast off his people, he would have cast off me as well. Because I'm from the tribe of Benjamin of the nation of Israel. So they couldn't be cast off. Now, go back to 1 Corinthians 10. Who was his brethren that he was speaking to? The Israelites. Correct? Correct. Thank you, Gary. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 1. Moreover, brethren. The Israelites, right? I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers, all our fathers. So he's talking about his forefathers, the nation of Israel's forefathers. Come on. Were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses. So, 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 so. So when you read in 1 Corinthians 12, it said that, that ye were Gentiles carried away unto uh, false idols. He was talking to who? His brethren, the Israelites, yes. who also passed under that cloud yes. and the sea. You understand? Yes. What is he talking about? When they went through, he's when Moses... About, he's talking about the two million people Acts that spent 20, 40 years in the desert. Thank you. With only two people getting to the promised land. Not just two, but the, the two of that old generation well, that with old all the young. Right, that, Gary? Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Acts 2 and 20. You said whosoever that he was looking at, right? Let's go to whosoever that he was talking about. This is the book of Acts, correct? Let's see who we, I want to read another one, but I'm going to hear what your thoughts is on it. Okay. Then I'm going to read this definition. We're going to okay. go like that, all right? Okay. Acts chapter 2 and verse 20. The sun shall... 20, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call the name of the Lord shall be saved. So the book of Acts was wrote, written by Luke, right? But if you read something like that, right, you would think that, wait, so that person just walked by a so-called... A so-called white man, the reason I say so-called, because I don't know, just off appearance, he might look white. But he could be, uh, he could be Israel, for all I know. Right. But is that talking about the random East African that walked by and say, oh, name of the Lord, I'm about to start keeping the commandments, I can be saved, right? Yeah. Is it talking about him? Okay, so we're looking at, we're looking at the Pentecost. This is Acts chapter 2. So yep. we're discussing the Pentecost. Okay. And the assemblage of people here are primarily... Jews because they're okay. Kind of okay. So consequently, I would say 90% of your whole group is Jews. And this message is for them because why? In 36 and beyond, you got Paul, uh, actually got Peter getting up and 
explaining what's going on. Okay, and okay. Then the Holy Spirit comes. Okay, yeah, to those primarily Jews, right? Correct. Because you said ninety percent to the best of our ability, and I wanna I wanna touch on that. To the best of our ability, we are going out teaching those who we believe court to scripture will be the Jews of God, right? The that, thing about in it is that, in that situation. we cannot we cannot determine who it, who is and who not. We can only go off based off the spirit that's imparting unto them. Well, right? Because the scriptures have, is teaching though the timing is the Pentecost, so that uh -huh. means the Jews came on pilgrimage. They all came there to right there from out of work, out of work. Various uh, everywhere. Yes, yeah, so they can they have they can have East Indian features. Yeah. They can look like Edomites. Yeah. Yeah. They can look like whatever. We don't know. We just go based off the spirit. Well, but, see, that's the other that's uh, the other complication. Uh, Judaism or the, the, the culture of God. Judaism is the practice of our religion. It's fair, fair, fair. But, right. but what you have to consider though is uh, comparable to uh, Mount Matsher. His experience was when he got to Mecca, he was amazed to find that everybody was in their shades and they were doing something like that. Okay, okay. Right, so right, right, right. with that, you get, you're going to have the same dynamic with Judaism because you have people from various climates, various topographies, so they're, they're going to look all over But the thing is, though, with well, that in mind, gonna, so, so, but so, with that in mind, what so is color doesn't really factor in there. Color doesn't, you're right. But it with that in mind, construct that they really grab the hold of in the United States. But the rest of the world didn't really focus on there some of the other values. Okay. Now, you know, I'm glad you said it. No, what, give me one second. Read Acts 2 and 21, and then I want you to jump up to verse uh, 8. Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Verse 8. And verse 22. Ye men of Israel. Wait, so when he said, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord in the book of Acts, he was talking to who? Ye men of Israel. Hear these words. So he wasn't just talking to anybody. He was only talking to those of Israel. Right. So when he said whosoever, they whosoever was only referred to the Israelites. That's right. In his, in his hearing, yes. Yes, in his hearing. When, when, Christ, when Paul went to teach people, he only went to who? The Jews. Oh, that's interesting. Because yes, go to Acts chapter. Go, yeah, he go to Acts chapter first. thirteen. Yeah, Peter was introduced. Matter fact, no, I told you Peter Ephesians two. Give me that. Introduced to uh, reach out to the Gentiles. Now, who are the Gentiles? The, the Gentiles, Gentiles in were, Corinth were, were who? Were who? Well, in, in Corinth they were who? They would have been anybody that was. The we just read it. He said, "My brethren." Who? Well, those who passed under the cloud of the sea. Well, Everybody didn't do they, that, did they? They had, a division no. of, they had a division of ministry where Peter was to appeal to Gentiles and Paul was to appeal to Jews. Okay. Because of his background. Why is that? His, Why is that? His background and heritage. He could relate to them. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to show you. It's all about history. The Bible is a history book. You understand? Go to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 11. And then, uh, you know what? No. Give me Acts chapter 13 verse 45. We're just going to go there. And then give me Zechariah. I'm going right. to Matthew chapter 1. Okay, okay. We can go wherever. We can okay. go wherever. You know what? You got Gentiles. What do we got? This is the Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary, page 195. Gentile. Usually, it means a non-Israelite people. Wait, right, so and that means, when it says usually, does that mean all the time? That means sometimes it's referring to a non-Israelite people. Bring so that means depending on the context of the chapter or the Bring book you read it, it could be talking about the Israelites. Yeah, right. Correct? Right. 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 So let's read this. Acts chapter 13 and verse 35. 45. But when the Jews saw the multitude, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which were spoken by Paul. Contradicting and blaspheming. What did what did Paul decide to do about this? Once the Jews, who he was sent to first and foremost, they denied this, the the gospel of Christ. Come on. Bring it out. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, "It was necessary. It was what? Necessary. It was it was necessary, right? It was needful for us to do what? That the word might have been spoken to you, but the word shall first have been spoken to you. But seeing ye put it from you and judge yourselves." Worthy of everlasting life. No, we turn to the Gentiles. Who is this Gentiles talking about in this chapter? It is it talking about anybody? No, it's referring to a prophecy in Zechariah. In Zechariah, what is it saying? I had to go to Jew. I had to go to Judah first. 
because God commanded me to do so. But since y'all don't want to hear the word of God, y'all don't want to hear about Christ, we're going to go to who? Israel. That's the people correct. that was cast off. That's correct. That's correct? That's correct. Let's read it. That's right. Such as I'm going to take my words for it, Gary. No, I don't. All right, watch this. We're going to read it anyway. Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 7. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first. Go to the Jews first because prophecy says he must raise up Judah first. Come right. on. That the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. So who would magnify themselves against the tents of Judah? Israel. Jerusalem, the other ten tribes will magnify themselves against Judah if we don't, if we raise them up first. Give me another prophecy. Give me chapter Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 7. Deuteronomy 33 verse 7. I'm going to show you all throughout the scriptures. Prophecy must be fulfilled. He went to Judah, then he said, once you go to them and they turn Christ down, go to Israel. The Gentiles that you're reading in the New Testament are all Israel. Are all Israel. And we're going to prove that too in Ephesians 2. I want to get the old prophecy first. You understand? Oh, I, I, I must make the correlation. I get, I get it now. I'll praise you, Gary. I'll praise I have to make the correlation. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 7. And this is the blessing of Judah. And he said, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him unto his people. He said, Bring up Judah first. And he, Judah, he's going to use Judah to go teach the rest of the people. Why? So what? What did we read in Zechariah? That... Israel does not magnify themselves or exalt themselves over Judah. I must raise them up first. Now, give me Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 11. We're we going to get scriptures with Gentile in it. Come on. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 11. All along, along so, right, right, Gary? All right, come on. Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles. Wait, wait, wait. Now it's saying it again. It's said it in 1 Corinthians. So now he's talking to the Ephesians. He said, in time past, you were called Gentiles, correct? correct. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. What is he talking about? What is he talking about? Give me Ezekiel. Give me Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 32. Bring it out. Gentile is synonymous with heathen and nation. That is the definition. I, I, I'm glad you understand that, Gary. That means I can take a little few shortcuts and don't have to explain everything. But he, as he brought out early in the Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary, Gentile usually means a non-Israelite people. Come on. Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 32. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all. That ye say, we will be as the heathen. We will be as the heathen and or Gentiles. In time past, Judah said to themselves, no, Israel says to themselves, we shall be as the heathen and or Gentiles. What do you got? When you turn away, give me one second, Gary. I'm not going to, don't forget your thought. I want to make this point across. When God determines, when you turn from his laws, you are now defined as a what? Heathen, a Gentile. Right. So when you go to Ephesians chapter 2 and he said, in time past, you were Gentiles. You can't, let's say I'm Asian. I can't just turn into a, a child of God just because I will it. Right. No, he's talking about a spiritual mindset. You understand? Now, go ahead. I want you to express your thoughts. Um, uh, dictionary, please. In the dictionary, please. What do you want? Uh, Samaritan. Samaritan? Samaritan? Yeah. Who's the Samaritans? Bring it out. All phrases. All phrases. Give me John chapter 4. I, I was thinking John 4 and yes. Oh, you was? All praise. I wanted to read the fact, Who was the Samaritan? I wanted to. I, 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 I will read it. That's the reason I want to introduce you. Okay. You have a point there? I'm showing that I was a correlation with what you're saying. Ah, uh, so the, who, uh, I want to ask this before we read that. You're defining heathens and you're defining Gentiles. Yes. I was going to go with Samaritan. Oh, so you're agreeing with this? Yes. Okay. We're in harmony. I'm very okay, I'm not okay. here to disagree. No, no, no. I'm not saying you. I just want to make sure yeah. for everybody that may hear oh, this. I'm sorry. We're in yeah. harmony. So to correlate things, I was bringing the Samaritans because... Got it. Okay. You know, Who was in Samaria? But they weren't considered high quality people. But you're going somewhere else. Going to I, 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 I don't know that. I have to. I, but I know, I, but I'm I know how to they you, were treated. I'm going to give it to you, Gary. I'm going to give it to you, Gary. Now, uh, let me look at it. All right. Uh, verse... Seven. Start at verse seven. Yeah, we're gonna we gonna jump down to that. Jump to uh, read verse seven. John chapter four and verse seven. Bring it out. There cometh the woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, 
how is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? He said, why are you asking drink of me and I'm a woman of Samaria? Read this out. is the story you were referring to, right? Yeah, he's crossing a lot of boundaries here, but go ahead. He did. Yeah. He did. Now, I want you to jump now. He, remember, he went to a woman of Samaria, right? Yes. Where was this at? Jump to verse 5, please. Verse 5. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sikar, near the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son, Joseph. Wait, 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 wait. So Samaria is near, Samaria is near where a, a piece of land that uh, God allowed Jacob to give to his son, Joseph. So Jace, Joseph and Samaria has something in correlation with each other. Bring it out. Are, are you understand what we're bringing out so far? Yeah. Watch what she says in the verse that you were talking about. Get that. Bring it out. Verse 12. Art thou greater than our father? Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me the Samarians, that woman of Samaria and Jesus shared a, 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 a ancestral father? That's what she said. Read it again. Art thou greater than our father Jacob? Wait, so they both have a same lineage from Jacob. Now, let's prove. Ice in the pudding right here. I said ice in the pudding. <laughs> Proof in the pudding for all I care. That's why I was going to go to Matthew Isaiah 1 7. Oh, no, no, no. We're we going go, we to give you a better one. So Isaiah crazy. 7 and 8. They would greet each other. They would just say, oh, so Watch blah, this. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, blah. look at okay. like, wow. Hey, Gary, I, I, I'll praise you. you. You learned a historical lesson today. I want you to pay attention to this right here. Who are the Samaritans? Uh, those of who was that woman of Samaria that lived in the parcel of land that was given to Joseph? Bring it out. Seven, four, six. Yep. And the head of Ephraim is Samaria. Wait, wait, wait. And the head of Ephraim is Samaria. It was. I want you to start at verse eight, right quick. Start at verse eight. Verse eight. Uh, for the head of Samaria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus. Syria. Syria. For the head of Syria. It's Damascus. So I'm saying the capital, the capital of Syria is Damascus. And the head of Damascus is Rezin. So it's talking about the, the, the ruler over Damascus was Rezin at the time. Come on. And within three score and five years shall Ephraim be Who? Ephraim. Who? Ephraim. The Samarians, the Puerto Ricans be broken that it be not a people. Now I want you, after this, after you read verse 9, go to Hosea 4 and 17. Come on. Verse 9. And the head of Ephraim is Samaria. The, listen, the capital of Ephraim, where the, the so-called Puerto Ricans used to stay, was Samaria. Okay. But they, they cast off their first faith. First faith. They didn't want to follow. They did not want to follow the laws. They always went into idolatry. Right. So God said this. Hosea, 4. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 17. Yeah, he's looking at that flower now. You better come learn with us, Gary. <laughs> Ephraim is joined to idol. What? Ephraim is joined to idols. Gary, Samaria is joined to idols. Do what with them? What was the Jews told to do with them? Let him alone. Leave them alone. So the Jews had no dealing with Samaria because they were what? Given to idolatry. And it said that they be broken and be not a people. That they be broken and be not a people. So I, I pray you understand it. Do you understand all that? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.
Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom.